Welcome to the City of Florson podcast, where we talk anything and everything related to the beautiful City of Florson. Good morning, everyone. I'm Cheryl Thompson Stimmage. I'm the Director of Parks and Recreation for the City of Florson. And I'm here doing a podcast with Genoa Olson, who is our swim coach for our swim team here in Florson. Um, so I'd like to welcome Genoa and tell us everything a little bit about yourself and about the swim team. What you want to tell us about the swim team? Okay. Um, I grew up in North County and started actually as a lifeguard for the city of Florissant when I was about 16 or 17. Um, and, and we won't ask you how old you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then shortly after that, um, it was the vision of the city to start a swim team. Um, and so I was lucky enough to be one of the three founding coaches. Um, and this is our 20th anniversary. So this is a 20th year of the Florissant swim team. Uh, we swim at Bangor Pool. Um, we have 11 uh summer league championships in a row and we've had over a thousand kids in those 20 years swim on our swim program how many do you have this year we have 155 with 50 of them being eight and under so the future of the team is extremely bright yes it is and i'm sure you have your hands full we do but we have awesome helpers our junior coaches who are also lifeguards for the city and have grown up in the program Um, so there's quite a legacy um, in our program so are some of our lifeguards still on the swim team they are because somebody told me yesterday that their swim team a lot of their kids on the swim team are lifeguards and it's at bell fountain yes and bell fountain said when we do us when we do a meet we're really going to have any guards to guard because they're all on the swim team. We do. So, yeah. yeah. We actually require if they want to be a junior coach, they have to participate. Yeah. So, so that's yeah. great. Um, so obviously you've told us how successful they've been and you said it's been around for 20 years. So one of the things that you guys do is you do practice and you hold your meets at Banger Park. We do. And so on August 2nd of this year, the city is going to go back out and, and ask for a proposition to build two new pools, and it's going to be for $10 million. So tell me what a new pool would mean to the swim team. Well, when we started the team was when they renovated and, and opened the newer Bangor facility. So that was the guiding force of, hey, let's start the swim program. Um, and now, 20 years later... Same facility, same footprint, same locker rooms. Um, Been a blessing to us as a team, but we all know we can't continue without progress. Um, And so um, we really have to continue to think forward, um, continue to think about continuing the program and continuing the facilities. Um, I started my family in Florissant um, and spent my days at Coke Aquatic Center before it closed in Bangor. And I know how important it is to me with three kids as well as the swim program um, you know the Florissant swim team is a cornerstone in this north municipal sort north swim league um, and so we really have to have a facility um, and unfortunately without major updates or a complete overhaul I'm just afraid that that's not going to be possible in the next very very f- next few years and the pool that we're proposing for Bangert will have a lot of deck space so you'll mm-hmm. be able to have um, more space for the teams mm-hmm. And bleachers out there so parents can watch for some bleachers inside the fence and it'll be kind of exciting and I think it would be great to have a brand new pool for them to swim in it would it would be a great blessing uh, also a, a need also um, not just a want but definitely a need um, absolutely like I said our team is a cornerstone in the league the biggest team in the league and for us to be able to showcase it would be fantastic and I really hope that the residents will get to get behind it and support it um, like I said kids as young as three years old on this team we've had five uh, six kids now that have been on the team for 15 years some that have gone on to swim collegiately to coach in other programs so it really is a legacy that you're building with the youth of the city and just to remind everybody that we will need a 57 percent um yes votes for this so in order for this to pass that's what it would take so we encourage everyone to get out there learn about this we'll have informational meetings throughout the next two months on that you can come and attend you can always call your council person there will be things on our social media about it so um, any questions that anyone has please feel free Um, this will mean that it will guarantee it will generate 10 million dollars 
which will mean that it might be as little as less than five dollars a month for a person and i think a total of up to like 34 dollars a year so when you break it down that it's really worth it mm -hmm. and i know you talked to me too about having the younger family and stuff what uh, an aquatic park would mean yeah i would love to see our younger families our um 30 and 40 year old families that are just starting out in florissant i'd love to have them have this facility and so they're also the ones that need to get out and vote well, Genoa, thanks for joining me today. And I always look forward to going past the pool, seeing all those kids in the pool. So if you're out and about, stop by one morning at Bangert and you'll see all the kids enjoying the pool. Thank you.